Hello and welcome to Sharon Local History. In this video I would like to tell you a little bit about the mussels that grow in our lake. Lake Massapauk is uh, over 350 acres um, large body of water. It is natural stream spring fed lake and it is really one of our most valuable resources. It is jewel and pride of our town. So when you observe our lake and you pay close attention, you may be able to see those mussels. They are very beneficial and yes, you can pick them up, but we would like you to return them back in their spot. This is what you may be familiar with. Um, at some point when they die out, you will just come across the shell and yes, if it's broken, it can give you a little cut on your feet. Um, however, I would like to tell you a little tiny basic about their benefits in water. So when we say mussels, most of you probably think of the edible blue marine um, mussels that are edible. However, these are their cousins. They are freshwater mussels that bury themselves in the mud and sand on the bottom of uh, rivers or streams and lakes and they are not edible. They, they do taste like mud and they are not for eating really. In the United States there are over 300 species of mussels, freshwater mussels. Unfortunately they are endangered group of organisms and um, it's mostly due to development of dams, pollution and also defense sediments and exploitation as well. Here in Massachusetts, we have about 12 different types. I have seen three types in our lake, and I'm not going to give you the names because I'm not confident I know it exactly. So these incredible organisms are actually considered ecosystem engineers. Some people call them uh, livers of the lake and rivers because they filtrate the water. Apparently, they can filter up to 15 gallons of water a day. So they truly positive, they have positive effect on our ecosystem and everything else that's within the ecosystem. Filter feeding animals are interesting and it is a very interesting process by which mussels draw down water and pass the water over their special gills. And the gills are basically like sieves and the water continuously is passed through them. Um, the water that is ejected from the mussel is much cleaner than it was before. So they are basically filtering water and clearing it and they are also helping light penetration in the lake itself. When it comes to reproduction of freshwater mussels, they do rely on specific types of fish. Uh, once the female mussel is fertilized, by the way they are hermaphrodites, um, the, she broods the larval, larval mussels, um, they are called glochidia on her shell, and afterwards she releases basically like large clouds of them and they do attach themselves to gills or fins of passing fish and they start their parasitic phase where they actually draw nutrients from the fish's bloodstream. After a few weeks uh, they, the glochidia drop and burrow themselves in the sand or on the bottom of the lake and they start living independently. When you look at the outer shell of the mussels, you can actually see little ridges and these ridges can be counted to estimate the edge of the mussel. Some mussels apparently live up to 70 to 100 years, which is pretty incredible. And by the way, freshwater mussels can create pearls. It's basically their defense mechanism when they create saliva around a grain of sand or something. Uh, but they are not very valuable and you will hardly ever find any. So please don't bother and don't pick them up. So these little guys are actually called Asian calm and they are invasive. They were most likely introduced to our lake via boat or jet skis. That's why it's important to wash all watercrafts before entering the lake. So I hope you learned something new about these beneficial little organisms. If you would like to learn more about our lake, you can contact Lake Management Study Committee or you can view their website. Thank you for watching Sharon Local History.